Hey everybody, welcome to Texas 2.5. This is Jonathan. I just wanted to do a quick uh, five minute modification update video to show you a really quick and easy and I think absolutely necessary modification to the Lone Star Grill. I'm also going to do a real quick safety tip at the end that is applicable for all grillers and smokers, not just Lone Star owners. Stick around. All right, everybody. One of my few very minor complaints with the Lone Star is um, cleanup is not super easy with how they've positioned the ball valve. Um, it's awesome that they've put a ball valve on this thing. I appreciate that. Uh, that's, it's um, an inch and a quarter. It's uh, plenty big enough for the job. The problem is it's in a really tough location under here on the side of the smoker. So every time I fill this baby up, spray it out, and I'm ready to drain it, uh, I'm not just going to drain it straight onto my the bottom of my grill. I don't want greasy water all over my grill, so I throw a five-gallon bucket under there. The problem is, if you take a closer look here, let me see if I can uh, get you a good look at it. The area is totally boxed in. Um, on the front, if you want to get the bucket in and out, you gotta you got to set your shelf up and down. On the side here, it's basically impossible to get the bucket in and out. Very difficult. So you have to come around to the back, which, you know, it's not the end of the world, but it's inconvenient. The ball valve sticks down below the top of the bucket, so um, it's sort of annoying to deal with. With this thing full of hot water, you have to tip it over to get it out from underneath the valve, and it's pretty heavy. It's just hard to deal with. And what Russ Jones from Smoky Ribs Barbecue did was he put a little extension on his ball valve and a 45 degree elbow so that it would come right out the side of the smoker right here and drain. I went to Lowe's today because I want to do something similar, make my life a little bit easier. I may end up doing um, the more heavy duty solution that Russ has. Um, but for now, I saw this interesting little plastic piece. Um, this is called uh, Flex and Fix extension tube. It's all plastic. It's an inch and a quarter and uh, diameter and it probably is about four inches long but it flexes all the way out to nine inches long and you can also put an angle on it. So I'm going to screw this baby on and uh, we'll see how it goes. Perfect! That is exactly what I wanted it to do. Uh, the nice thing about this setup, even though it's plastic and it won't last as long, it's not heavy duty, it's a lightweight setup. Um, this piece was cheap. Looking at my receipt here, it was $5.98. And the thing I like about it, since it's not metal, uh, I don't have to have it permanently pointed out the side here. When I, whenever I'm done, um, I can simply, well, it's really hard with one hand, but you get the idea, flex it right back up like that, and it'll still be annoying to get my bucket under there, but hey, it's a lot easier to do that empty than it is with a bunch of water in it. So, really quick $6 mod that's going to make cleanup and life a whole lot easier on this smoker. The other thing I wanted to quickly touch base on safety wise is something I've heard a lot of guys talk about before and I've always sort of dismissed it and made fun of them in my head. Um, ironically, uh, cooking with rye, uh, another really interesting cooking channel that I've started uh, watching a lot of lately, just put out a video on this exact same safety topic. Uh, ironically, like a day or two after I had this experience, um, in my last cook video, uh, last Saturday, um, when I was doing the chicken wings, I had the dreaded grill brush bristle safety problem happen to me. Um, like everybody else, I used one of those T-shaped bristle brushes to clean off my Weber grill, and I was just going to use that to clean my expanded metal on this smoker. That was my plan long term. I had read about the safety concerns with bristles on the barbecue forums and I thought, you know, that just sounds like a few paranoid dudes. 
uh, and that'll never happen to me. Um, thankfully, no one was injured at my house, but um, what happens is it's even worse on expanded metal, I realize, than it is on a traditional round bar Weber grill because instead of having nice smooth round bar, you've got angle here. Um, and I'm sitting here torquing on this with that brush trying to knock off the giblets and carbon from last time. And I noticed, you know, this metal, since it's angled like this, it was taking my brush every which way. It was almost impossible to get a straight brush. So I would just let it take my brush where it wanted and do things at an angle. But what was happening that I didn't realize until the end was these little joints, all these little joints where the metal meets, grab onto those metal bristles and rip them out and my brush isn't even that old um i bought it earlier this summer it gets a lot of use but it's still only a couple months old you know one of those chintzy little five or six dollar t-shaped bristle brushes that you get at you know walmart home depot lowe's fortunately for me if you remember from that chicken wing video i was using that two foot long tin foil boat on the bottom rack to make cleanup easier for myself after the cook. Well, I had put that down before I started bristle brushing. When I got done bristle brushing and I looked down in that foil boat, uh, there were probably six, eight, ten bristles laying in that foil boat, uh, which totally freaked me out. I was I I thoroughly cleaned the grate again with wadded up tin foil twice. Then I went over it with the soft side of my big orange welding gloves. And um, just hoping that there were no bristles left on the expanded metal. I went and dumped that foil out, but it really scared me. And I immediately threw that brush away. I don't even have it to show you, but you all know the kind I'm talking about. So um, I'm just encouraging you guys to think about, as Rye did in his video, uh, it happened to a friend of his. Here it happened personally to us. Thankfully, no one was injured. But it's, it really sort of ruined the end of that cook for me because every time we ate those chicken wings, I'm sitting there with my finger, like, checking these chicken wings in detail all the way around, running my finger over them before I would give the, the meat to my daughter um, or before I would eat them. And it was just a real pain, honestly, to have that paranoia and that fear every time I bit into a chicken wing. Um, I wonder if there's a bristle in this one. So... Um, I went out and I bought one of those wooden scrapers that conforms to your normal round bar grill grates. That won't work on a expanded metal, so I'll show you what I bought for this. So for the offset, uh, I was at Fleet Farm last night buying some other things for the smoker. Um, I saw these cleaning brushes. These are only like $5.99, 6 bucks. I don't think this is going to be a long-term solution. I'm not sure yet what's going to be a good long-term solution for expanded metal. If you have ideas, please put the link in a comment below. Um, if I look at it and I like it, it looks like a viable solution for expanded metal. I will certainly um, try to remember to go copy that link up into the notes. If you give me, if you put a metal brush, bristle brush on there, I'm not going to put that in the notes. Um, but this guy here, um, I'm going to try it short term. Uh, because A, the bristles are humongous, B, they're not metal, C, they're bright yellow. Um, you're going to notice these on your grill and certainly in your food. And uh, I'm not a guy who, I don't need to get my grill 100% spick and span every time I use it. All I'm trying to do is knock off the big pieces of meat and carbon from the last time because it's going to get sanitized in the heat. So something like this I think will work for now. But if you guys have ideas, let me know. Um... Again, it is a safety concern. I, I will never again use a metal bristle brush just out of uh, being overcautious, I guess. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed the modification. Hope you enjoyed the safety tip. Uh, thanks to Rye for pointing it out earlier this week, and I'm seconding his motion. This is definitely uh, a concern for me now. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in to Texas 2.5. This is Jonathan saying see you later.